know, you used to get terribly nervous starting off my gigs. Uh, and the reason for that is that the very first gig I ever did, the compo was a black man. And uh, the first act on was Irish. And then there was me on stage. And there was a woman on stage, and there was me, and I'm Jewish. And I thought, it'd be absolutely hysterical to go up and go, so, the, uh, the compo is a black man, the first act's Irish, and there's a woman, and now there's me a Jew. Welcome to the Bristol Diversity Comedy Conference. Yeah. <laughs> Meant to say diversity came out as disability. Now. <laughs> Never managed to offend such a wide spectrum of people in such a condensed period of time. I, um, I've learned a lot about life from doing stand-up. Um, and I'll show you what I mean. I've learned that delivery is quite important in, in stand-up as in life, the way that you say things, right? And what I mean is this, right? I was having a conversation with my friend Helen about people that we thought were attractive. And apropos of nothing, she turns to me and she goes, it's weird because I used to think I was quite ugly, but I don't anymore. And honestly, I meant to say, really? <laughs> what, what actually happened was this. I used to think I was quite ugly, but I don't anymore. Really? <laughs> Delivery. Um, are, there any, are there any fans of The Only Way Is Essex in? Slags. Now, I, I hate The Only Way Is Essex, and here's why. I don't hate the things that happen in it, the contents, I hate the title. Because it doesn't really make any sense, The Only Way Is Essex. Basically, what they've done is they've taken the well-known phrase, The Only Way Is Up, and the name of the place, Essex, and for no apparent reason, smushed them together. Um, I'm looking forward to launching my own show called Things Can Only Get Carlisle. <laughs> Absence makes the heart grow avarice with. <laughs> and red sky in the morning, shepherd's warning, red sky at night, Wolverhampton. 